All right, today we're talking about situational football. We're gonna talk about taking a safety. You're up by three points or more, all right? You don't wanna give the ball to the defending team. You don't wanna give them an opportunity to block the punt. So you wanna line up in a tight formation, okay? Now you're not gonna line up in your punt formation. You're gonna have your quarterback on the field, all right? We're gonna direct snap it to your quarterback here. Your quarterback is gonna take the ball and throw it to your best handed receiver. All right, the ball traveling in the air is a lot faster than somebody turn around trying to sprint. Okay, once he receives the ball, he's gonna run through the back line in the end zone trying to play tag, trying to milk as much clock, time off the clock as possible. All right, now, one thing that's important, if he, if he mishandles the ball, get on it, make sure you're in the end zone. If the ball's hot, let it fly through, then you'll take the risk. From the offensive line standpoint, okay, you wanna give some kind of protection, probably field goal block, uh, uh, field goal protection, and you wanna instruct these guys to tackle the defenders, right? right? Because if they get a holding penalty, all right, all you're going to do is take time off the clock, and then if they accept the penalty, then you just get an opportunity to do the play again. There you go. On the last segment, we talked about taking a safety. On this segment, we're going to talk about a sprint out pass to milk the clock. All right, the reason we would use this is we're a little further down the field, and we don't want to run the risk of taking a safety, all right, and getting tackled potentially closer to our end zone or not making it to the end zone with an overthrown pass, all right? What we're gonna do here is talk about the O-line first. On the front side, all we're gonna do is basically reach out. All right, on the back side, we're just gonna hinge, waterfall, all right, create a long edge for anybody coming off the back side. We're gonna bring the X over in motion. All right, we have a Y and Z over here creating a super long edge. All right, our, tight, our running back is gonna come and make sure he is the last guy um, to make sure anything coming off the edge is, is protected. And we're gonna create this super big edge. Quarterback is gonna sprint out, all right, and here, here's, here's the best part of play. He's going to throw the ball as high and as far out of bounds as he can because the clock will not stop until the ball has hit the ground. All right, we actually have a clip of this uh, executing this versus Louisiana Lafayette a few years ago. It's uh, fourth and 22, 12 seconds left. All right, we're sending the motion over to create that extended edge. Quarterback's going to receive the snap. Probably could have ran out a little bit further. All right, throws the ball. The clock's not going to stop till it lands. Lands and game over.